Welcome back. The Agriculture Minister encouraging local wholesalers and retailers to buy Bahamian. During a meeting with the group which supplies food to the Bahamian people, he told them it's all about food security. This comes just weeks after government implemented a ban on table tomatoes and bell peppers, which local farmers now produce in high numbers. He says the meeting was necessary to get feedback from key players in the food chain as to why some of them have been going outside to get goods that are produced locally. Uh, they were extremely supportive. As a matter of fact, they were challenging us and questioning us and saying, you know, we've been importing all of these things, Irish potatoes, chicken, you know, produce. Um, and an awful lot of money is being expended going out of the country. Why haven't you been able to supply us with it? You know, they were challenging us and I, I was more than happy um, to have that kind of conversation, to have the wholesalers, retailers challenge this ministry to deliver for and on behalf of the Bahamian people on the behalf, for and on behalf of Bahamian farmers to really develop the industry rather than the money going out of the country, that the monies that come in from foreign exchange by from tourism actually ends up in the pockets of Bahamian farmers. Um, and I know that that's going to go an awful long way. It's basic economics. Well, Bahamas Food Services Manager Edward Williams and Acting Director of Agriculture Gregory Raming spoke to the importance of the dialogue. There's, a, there's considerably a glut in the market for certain items during certain times of the year. But one of the things we discussed today is being able to diversify each farmer. I mean, you know, a good example, you know, we talked about zucchini and yellow squash. If we had three or four of those farmers growing those on a consistent basis, you know something, we could probably cover about a good six, six months out of the year with not having to import that product. So I think us working together you know, will be able to help educate the farmers in being able to, you know, diversify their crop. The meeting was very important in that it brought the wholesalers, retailers together with the ministry staff. That, in a sense, in the exchange of information and what information that the wholesalers would require from, from the Department of Agriculture going forward so it could better market local produce. And uh, they can also provide us with what, what the actual demand is so that we can encourage the farmers to grow for the, the demand as opposed to them all growing at the same time and having gluts in the market.